Good morning, everybody. It is I, Zombie Killer. Well, technically, good afternoon, but I would consider this morning because of on how loud these fucking chickens are. And ducks. Yeah, you wee. Water's a little bit, uh, disgusting again within a couple hours um well i guess the good news is uh we are just letting nature take its course as far as the ground as you guys saw it in two videos of mine uh two videos ago on how fucking mucky the ground was um but it's actually starting to heal up a little bit better um it's mainly because uh we just had our lawn cut and uh the grass flew over on top of it so now it's like really sinking in and with all of the rain and the fucking heat that we've been getting we've actually been getting new grass cover on top of the grass that was cut so it's getting there and the underground septic ain't really helping much but uh the ground is looking a lot fucking better um i am actually going to uh fucking leave real quick because I gotta do something about this water yeah I gotta do something about this water give me like 10 minutes give me 10 minutes and that water will be fucking perfect uh, for you guys it'll only be like a millisecond but hold on let me go take care of this real quick See, look at that. Bam! Fresh fucking water. Fresh cold fucking water for you fucking ducks and two chickens. Now, most people think that you can't put chickens and ducks together. Um, you actually can. Um, it, it's just a really skeptical thing to do. Um, it's better to put them in together when they're babies. Um, me personally, I would only advise two ducks and two chickens. I wouldn't really per se go any more beyond that because that might start fights and see me not doing that. We put them in on the ages that they are now. Um, we put the two chickens and the two ducks together um at the age that they're at they're not even a year old yet they're still like a couple months old i would get when i would say put them in together when they're first babies so that way like they per se grow up together but we didn't do that we were just running out of room far as the chickens um that's in there uh he was out for blood so i mean it was really just a bad 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 situation so we had to think of something, so what we thought of was putting, just grab two whatever chickens, just grab two random chickens, and grab the two ducks that we have and just throw them in the same coop together. Why not? So we did that, and within like the first two hours, they were like pecking at each other and they were fighting. They were very vocal for, I would say, two to three hours. But after that, we, um, we actually handed them, handled them a little bit for like maybe an hour. And then we threw them back in together, and now look, now they're just, now they're just fine. I mean, they still do have their moments when one, whoever would say something to the other, and it will just, boom, spark something, but they fight for like 10 seconds, and then they get over it. They're like, oh no, fuck this guy, fuck him. You know what, I don't even want to deal with his ass no more. But, I mean, it's, it's something that... I would say takes a little bit of time, but other than that, it's pretty good. Um, you need food, and I know he needs food. All right, uh, all right, I gotta do their food real quick. Give me another, like, second. Hold on. All right, all right, bam. Fresh water, fresh food. And then for the guy who's out for blood, fresh water, fresh food. We are fucking game. Uh, 
my next assignment is to build that. The reason why it's like this, I explained this in my last video. I was actually trying to move this and it was too fucking heavy and I actually wound up breaking the latches uh, to it. I wound up literally like crisscrossing the latches against the wood and I broke both latches. So now we got a fucking fence, a rock and a shovel blocking the fucking door. It's fucking crazy. But um uh yeah, that's that's pretty much my next assignment is to build a fence because what we're trying to go for here is we're going to be taking that fence that's right there and we're going to be moving it all the way in that corner over by the hammock. It's going to be in that corner literally right next to the hammock. So uh that's uh that's that's pretty much going to be the goal here for today. And I plan on getting it done today, but the problem is trying to keep everybody in this fucking coop without escaping and just take them all one by one and put them in the fence. So that's what we're going to try and do. And we're going to build fences for each and every coop. So that coop, we're going to build a fence for just a little like fence, like per se play area. And we're going to make it big enough so that way they got a lot of room to run in. Then I gotta separate the fucking fence and put the ducks and the chickens in one big area. And then I gotta put asshole in another fence and make that one big area all in that fucking corner. So yeah, that, that's gonna be, <laughs> oh my God, that's fucking ridiculous. But um, also another thing that nobody has seemed to realize cause I haven't really talked about it. Now I've showed you guys, uh, my first car, which was the 1985 Toyota Corolla. I have shown you guys my 1994 Ford Ranger, but the thing I haven't shown you guys was my 1990 something, I think it's a seven or eight, Dodge Ram 1500. I, that's the only, this is the only vehicle I have not shown you guys. Um, it is lifted, I'm assuming five to six inches, I believe, and it's sitting on 35s. Um, it's a real good truck, but other than the minor problems I'm facing right now with it, uh, it's a pretty good fucking truck. I mean, I've shown you guys everything, and the reason why, I don't know if you guys saw it, you guys probably did, the reason why for this is because I woke up, I think like three o'clock in the morning to take someone to the airport, and it was fucking pitch black out, I couldn't fucking see shit, and I actually wound up backing in to this tree, this wonderful fucking tree, and that is the reason for the fucking Terralite being duct taped. I really feel like there's only two things that you need in life, WD-40 and duct tape. If, if it's rusty and it needs to be greased, WD-40. If it needs to be fixed, duct tape it. I really feel like that's the only thing you need in life until you can uh, buy the fucking things that you need to actually fix the problem. Why? I'm getting two new headlights and two new tail lights. Um, they come with the daytime running lights or side marker lights as people call them. I call them side marker lights, but it's mainly referred as to uh, daytime running lights. But also I got my couple stickers here, proud owner of a rescue dog. I got my, uh, my Gears of War fucking emblem. And then I got my beautiful hatchet man emblem. But yeah, this is a pretty good truck. Now, actually, what I plan on doing to this truck is uh, a little bit of a uh, task. It's going to be a long, painful fucking task. But I'm going to get it done, and I'm going to make this truck the best it can fucking be. It has 200 and something thousand miles on it. I think 217,000 miles on it, exactly. Um, the trans was rebuilt, I think, two years ago. But what I plan on doing is saving up money dropping a new motor, dropping a new transmission. I gotta fix the lift. I'm buying a whole new lift kit for it. Uh, um, I'm getting new tires and I'm keeping the rims. I'm keeping the rims the way they are since they're so hard to find because I found out like these ain't rare, but they're just hard to find. So what I plan on doing is making them the original color, which is silver. So pretty much the black rim is gonna be that type of silver. It's gonna be like the original rim. Um, but what I also plan on doing 
is, uh, hold on, give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Fucking, fucking niggas pulled up into my fucking driveway. What the fuck? Um, but anyway, where I was getting at, what uh, I was trying to say was, um, I'm buying, oh, I should just buy a whole new fucking shell, but I found out that is too expensive for a whole new shell rather than just buying a whole new bed, tailgate included, because my tailgate's fucked up. I bought the tailgate like this, but the tailgate's fucked up, so what I plan on doing is buying a whole new bed with the tailgate, four doors, or two and a half doors rather, because this don't count as a door, it's like a half door, but four new doors and a hood and new fenders. I found out doing all of that is a lot cheaper than going with a whole new fucking shell. So, and it ain't gonna be the color that it is. Um, it's not, it's still gonna be black, but it's not gonna be matte black. It's just gonna be like glossy black, sort of like this. It's just gonna be straight black. And you can actually see the matte black coming off and it's actually showing like it's an original glossy black color. So that's what I'm going to make this. And it's gonna be money, but I'm keeping this truck until I fix everything. Everything is going to be fixed on it that's wrong with it in my opinion that's wrong with it and like the rust the rust is gonna go like every it has just the normal dodge rust but i'm going to be getting rid of that like i got such big fucking plans with this truck and i'm gonna make this a beautiful fucking truck i i mean it's already beautiful but i'm gonna make it a beautiful fucking truck and I can honestly say what I plan on doing it, doing to it, I can make this like a solid eight grand truck. I really could. And the paint job that I plan on doing for this, it's going to be fucking sick. I'm not giving away what the paint job is going to be, but I'm going to uh, make it just the shiny, the shiny black, but the paint, the actual paint job that I plan on doing to it, it's going to be fucking sick. It's not going to be no perla scent. It's not going to be fucking uh, plasti dipped. No, it's not going to be any of that fucking common bullshit. The, I'm going to be the only one with this type of truck, like ever. And the way that I have it planned, like in my head, it's going to be fucking sick. I see it, but um. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's really it far as uh, this video. I'm actually working on another video of a part two or part three, whatever. Another video of Friday the 13th. I'm just going to go in and check on the inside animals real quick. I'm not doing all of them. I mean, I already did this morning, but I'm talking about the dogs. A whiskey. Hey, baby girl. How are you doing? You gotta go potty? Yeah? All right, she's gotta go potty. What about you, Bobby? What about you? Koopy, you gotta go potty? You gotta go bathroom? Koopy! Yeah, he's gotta go bathroom. Oh my God. The snakes that we got. My bearded dragon. Just, oh my God, there's just so much to do today. Guys, it is just ridiculous. Uh, we got the other snake, which is currently hiding. That habitat actually looks pretty clean. I ain't gonna do anything with that, but the snake habitat. We got we got a Pac-Man frog. Fucking, uh, a whiskey. Um, I don't know where the other one went. I think the other one's upstairs. We got the bird, the fucking, uh, oh my God, the fish. The fish actually wound up dying because we were not smart and we got them from a pet store instead of you know another place and the reason why they died was because we got them from a pet smart which is known uh for their bullshit fucking uh their bullshit fucking uh routine of like feeding them and cleaning them you know what i'm saying it's the the, the way they take care of their animals it's just not good um I mean, we got him from PetSmart. He's pretty happy. He's actually been turning aggressive because of fucking PetSmart doing what they were doing. Um, 
and more so I, I've had the time, but I can't spend every second with my bearded dragon. So that's another reason why he's a little bit aggressive. So I got to change that. But the fish, we got them uh, from pretty much a pet smart and they all wound up dying. Uh, we bought a fucking like $50 fucking filter that never fucking worked as you can see by the fucking duct tape. Like, we, we spent so much money on just a fish tank, like a little, like, $50 fish tank, plus another $50 on top of a fucking bullshit filter that didn't even fucking work. It was so fucking bullshit. Like, we were literally cleaning the water, like, three times a week. It was fucking so bullshit. So, we still fed them. We still took care of them to what we could. And all the fish just one by one, dead, gone, dead, gone, dead, gone. We had like 10 fish, I think, 10 or five fish, something like that. And they all wound up dying because of fucking PetSmart. Oh my God, it's just so fucking ridiculous. Like you guys walk into PetSmart or any other pet store and you think, oh, okay, I'm going to go buy a fish today. This looks healthy. You know, the tanks were always clean. Yeah, no, it doesn't. They just appear to be clean. They appear to be feeding them as you look at them. You know, it, it's really bullshit. Um, and we, it was just a waste of fucking money. Um, the fucking uh, bug, the buggo box, the little cricket box things. Yeah. Last time we went to PetSmart, we bought like, I think three boxes. And the one box only had one in it. One, when there was supposed to be 25 to 30. The one box only had one cricket in it. The other box had nothing in it. And the other box, all of them were fucking dead. So we actually wound up calling them and we're like, yo, what the fuck? And, you know, they pretty much didn't even give us our money back. They just said, oh, well, you got to buy, you know, such amount of new ones. Like, how, how the fuck is that fair to us? But whatever. Um, but on that note, I'm going to go, guys. I actually got to get ready recording my next video, but I'm Zombie Killer, and you guys will see me later on today, so stay tuned to my channel, and far as the giveaway goes, I'm waiting until I hit 100 subscribers, 100 subscribers, I have, that, I have the idea in mind on what I'm going to be sending, that lucky winner, there's only going to be one winner, uh, add me on Snapchat if you guys are new, Toontown18, I'll leave it down in the description, but I'm Zombie Killer, and I will see you all later, peace.